Okay. Can everybody hear me? Okay, so here we go. So this is Forensics Exploitation 06 from the Cyber Fast Track. I'm just gonna shut my door. Okay, so a couple of clues right away when you read this one. First thing is that it says a doll maker has sent us this image. So when I read that the first time when I did this challenge back in April, uh, beginning of April, I was thinking like Russian nesting dolls, like there's something inside the other. Um, and then it says there's an important message hidden. Take a look at the image and see if you can unravel the mystery. And please note this challenge was originally classified as hard, but due to the low solve rate, it is now classified extreme. Yeah, the guy that got first place in this challenge didn't figure this one out. So here is the image. And there's a bunch of different tools you can run on it. Um, first thing I like to do really is just open it with a hex editor. Um, and there's some great places you can see, but really if you just take the kind of a file extension and Google that out, a lot of this is just really how well you can Google. So we'll get this hex editor opened up. Okay, so you see here, according to Google, JPEG file, start with an image marker, which always contain the marker code hex values FFD8FF. So yep, it does. Um, so let's go down and look at the end. So when we look at the end, we see this FFD9 is the JPEG trailer. So we see FFD9 here, and we see that there's some stuff afterwards. So it looks like there's this dead beef code repeating, and there's also some other, some other hex here. So let's see what we can do with this. So I'm going to take that and I'm going to go and take that and get the hex out of it. Take it from hex. Okay, and the zeros are really just delimiters, so we'll get rid of those. Okay, and now we have this from hex. Okay, so at this point I racked my brain quite a bit. Um, I tried magic chefing this whole thing. Um, there's some great things you can do with uh, Cyber Chef. Sorry, Cyber Chef. Um, if you just go to favorites and go to magic, um, you can put it on an intensive mode and enable extensive languages, and it'll try doing all sorts of stuff. And a lot of these challenges, if you just use Cyber Chef and do this extensive language support in intensive mode, you'll see something here when you scroll down that makes sense. Um, so I did this numerous times. Um, a lot of us trying this challenge, this one racked my brain for a good four or five hours before I kind of just gave up and decided to move on. Um, but this intensive mode is really useful for finding stuff. So you see things that look like maybe some ASCII key delimiters, um, but no matter what we did, we couldn't find the answer. And after solving this, or after finishing this challenge, the CTF up, um, finding out that the winner didn't even figure it out made me feel a little better. So the trick is with this dead beef code. So if I take this from hex, and then I do an exclusive or, let's find that XOR again. Here we go. Uh, that, that dead beef is the key here. So as you see, as I type it in, there you go. So there's the answer. Uh, Stegception and babushka. So what do we do with that? Well, that is, try as we might, if we if we punch that in, that is not the key. Um, so anybody have any ideas on what we can do with that next? Welcome back, Bloodbound. Okay, so 
this could be that there's a file hidden in here, right? We kind of got that idea from the nesting dolls thing. So there's a program that you can run on Linux. Um, quite heady, no, it's just one exclusive OR. Um, it's exclusive ORing every bit there with uh, that hex dead beef. Um, so yeah, absolutely. So we're going to punch it into a steganography program. So I don't have Kali up right now. Um, so we're going to use some online tools. Um, if you're just trying to do this in Windows, there's some great online tools that you can do for, for stegception or for steganography. So this one, uh, if you just Google out Steghide, Steghide is a great program on Linux, but there's an online version. So we're going to take this and we're going to choose that file. So let's find that thing again somewhere on my desktop here, FE06. Okay, so let's try... Uh, let's try Stegception as the password. Nope, this file may not contain steganographic data or you might have specified a wrong password. All right, well, let's see what we got then. Let's go back. What was the other one? I think it was Babushka. Seems to be thinking a little bit more. Okay, so now I see that there's something in it called flag.txt. So let's go and guess the payload. Okay, so here we go. So this payload may be a zip. Um, and it looks like it has an embedded file called flag.zip. So we'll go and prompt to save. Obviously, if you're doing this in real life, I would recommend uh, doing this in a VM. It's virus scanning everything and all that kind of stuff. So let's go. We'll just uh, call this flag.zip. Yep. Uh, yep. Okay. And let's just throw that on our desktop to play around with. Okay. So now I have the zip file. Extract. Password protected. So we use stegception. That didn't work before. Babushka worked for the file. Okay, so that's not correct. So let's try the other one. Let's try Stegception. Okay, and look, there we go. Now we're in. So now I have a flag.txt. So this right here is as far as the first place guy got. Is this flag.txt file. So what do we do with this? Well, again... Let's go back and play with it here. So we'll try, you can see it's obviously hex. The highest letter is an F, split into twos. So you can see it's obviously hex. So we're going to definitely do from hex. And let's try some magic here in intensive mode. And yeah, this is as far as the first place winner got on this challenge. Um, kind of after you do this, you're kind of like, well, what do I do? Um, so another one I like playing with is the brute force exclusive or. So it, it'll do a key length of one, sample length up to 100. And you can see that it goes through and kind of exclusive ors numerous, numerous times and tries a brute force. But again, we don't really see anything that looks like a solution here. So what is the actual answer? Well, it's weird base encoding. So if you look at um, all these different base encodings, so there's base 64. Um, here's what base 32 looks like. This one, it was just a matter of kind of the OSCP idea of try harder. Um, if you just keep punching all these in, eventually you get from base 85, which is a really weird one, but you get this flag, the Matryoshka challenge. 
I might even Google that to see what that actually, if that means anything. Looks like it was a capture of the flag, maybe back in B-sides at 2017. Um, yeah, but the, we see some Russian nesting dolls here, files inside of files, right? So, yeah. Kind of when you get some known hex value, just go through all those base encodings. So we'll punch that flag in. And hey, that's it. That is the correct flag, right? So it is literally a zip file inside of a JPEG. And there's a text file inside of that, all password protected. And inside that text, you need to decode it into base from base 85 to get the actual charge. So anyways, that's all for... Uh, yeah, Christian, this this was only 500 when you begin. Uh, now, if you reopen uh, from your email, you should have a code to get into the CTF again for another week. Um, and it starts you over. You have to solve everything all over again. If you know the answers, it's easy. But uh, this challenge was originally hard. Now it's worth 1,000 points in Classified Extreme, just based on, I think, nobody solved it. Yeah, I'm glad they rebalanced it too. The summer CTF for Cyber Fast Start should, won't have the same challenges, but it'll have, we all know, they're going to be similar, just different passwords and stuff. Um, but I am glad they rebalanced it. Because this one, it just seemed like you had to keep going and keep going and keep going. So anyways, uh, that's definitely it for this video. But for future ones, um, I'm just going to start streaming in the afternoon when I get free time. Um, and I'll start going through some of these cyber fast start, cyber fast track challenges since I've done most of them now. Um, and the ones I know I'll walk through and probably won't be as clean as this video, but you guys can tune in and see what you want to see, ask questions, um, kind of just a fun thing to go through and do. Anyways, that's all I got. I'll catch you guys later.